see who's that. There's this wedding I'd like you to attend Miss, this Saturday. A close family friend. I'm sorry I can make it. How do you know? It's two days away. I can't make it. I'm busy, please. Ah. Oh. Sorry. 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 Miriam. Miriam. For how long would you go on like this? Huh? For how long would you continue to go through this torture? Huh? Look, you need to come out, embrace the world, socialize, smile. No, you need to be your old self. Mori, I am alone. I mean, I'm not getting any younger. No one wants to talk to me. Because, because of your face. Come off it, Miriam. Come off it. All I do is go from one wedding to another. Each night I pray, I dream and cry. If only I have a man of my own. If only I have a husband that loves me for who I am. It's alright. It's alright, Mary. What about Chelsea? Oh, please. What do you think about her, please? Okay. What this will pass? Huh? It's all right. It's all right. Okay. What this will pass? On way to something. Did you miss me? Come on, your guess is as good as mine. So, you made me leave South Africa in haste. And what is this important business you talk about on the phone? And um, whose house is this? My friend's place. I'm just staying here for a while. Edward, you know what? You yeah. just came in. Sure. You need to rest. Yeah. And then we'll talk later. Just oh, like yeah. Oh, missed you. Missed you too. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me show you room. Why don't you? Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you got a nice place here, you know. Thank you. Hey. Okay. I said curry the stuff. <laughs> All right.
My God! Chide! Hi, Eddie. I knew I would find you here. My goodness. How long has this been? Four? Five years. Five years since you abandoned Chelsea and took off to Canada with Kiki and... I, oh, no, 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 no. That's all in the past now, Eddie. I heard from Cape Town that uh, Chelsea's back in town. Uh, yes, yes, but look at you. You look terrible. What happened? What happened in Canada? Well, Kiki and I broke up when I realized. When I realized she has HIV. That's two years now. Look at it. I've come to make amends. Is where can I find Miriam and Chelsea? Um, for your sake, I will not tell Chelsea I saw you until you see her. Okay. My car is right outside. Let's go. We can discuss in the car. Come on. wanted to. No! It can't be true. Miriam! Excuse me, I, I don't know you. I can't believe I'm seeing you again. I was told, told that I would not be able to recognize you because of the accident that rubbed off your face. But look at you. You have not changed. I still recognize you. I still don't know you. I mean... Were you in my school back at the University of Ibadan? Of course, yes. Um, I was in my second year when you were graduating. And to my shame, I was your secret admirer. So, my secret admirer for all this is, why did you come up to say hello? Well, thank God I have seen you again. I can say all the hello that I want. If your husband will not be offended. What husband? I'm not married. Really? Thank God, I have seen my secret admiring object again. Don't you think you're too old to be one secret admirer? I mean, by the way, what do you do for a living? Well, I am into private business. I was in Canada and I decided to come home, settle down, you know, raise a family and be a man to my wife. Are you married? <laughs> Me married? Of course not. What's your name? Well, I am Edward Amadi. As we run along now, see someone. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Could I hop in with you? I could drop off along the road. Oh no problem.
face around here. After what you did to us and me, you bastard! Chelsea, I make no claims to bring in any better than the worst of sinners. What I did to you and your sister is abominable. But there always comes a time in life and we'll face up to the consequences of our actions. Oh, spare me the philosophical bullshit! If that's the reason you're here, well, you're in the wrong place, mister. You abandoned us and ran off like a coward. Wait, are you here for forgiveness? Is that what you're here for? No, Chelsea. I know you are incapable of that. Life is too short to waste losing after what others have. Your sister is a wonderful person. All three waiting as precious as that. Okay. <laughs> ah, look who's talking. The reformed vagabond. Now get out! Out! Get out! Where's our son? Son? When did you start caring for your son? Get out! I said get out! No! no. None that I know of. But you know, guys' eyes usually pop out whenever they see me come to school without a bra. Imagine that. <laughs> so nasty. But mine just walked up to me yesterday after so many years. The wonderful. You mean this guy just a secret admirer just mm -hmm. came into your life? Mm -hmm. First time yesterday? How romantic! Can see that God, I'm so happy for you. But I need to hear the gist. I beg, I need more gist. Which gist? Ah, I need no, to hear gist. Please, please. But anyhow, Sha, I can't, I can't wait to tell you. Just sit you down. for too long. He's very weak now. I'll be back later. Chidi? Miriam? Chelsea? Well, Chidi, I brought her to you just as you asked me to. Thank you. Chidi, what, what is this and where did you get them from? South Africa, the lady I went to Canada with it was HIV positive. Um, 
and you now have eight. Oh, what a pity! The wages of sin. Tell us if you just stop that. You're not any better than he is. This is no time for laying blames. Miriam, I asked Chelsea to reach you for me. Miriam, Miriam, I'm so, so sorry. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's okay today. It's okay. Okay, I I forgave you long time ago. Please. Said I, I have less than a week to leave. But Miriam, the happiest moments of my life are the times I spent with you. Just say no more, please. Say, say no more, okay? Save your breath. What for? It's over already, you see. Please, Jude, it's okay. Yeah. You don't you don't deserve what I did to you. It's okay. You don't. time why fool around I want to spend my life with you I am but flesh and blood I need someone to love oh broken heart I pray to God Loneliness I feel without you oh, Is there another way to say I love you? I love if there's you. another way, I'll start all over again Start all over again There comes my honeymoon Yeah Ooh, my How to pay a photographer so much to do this? Is this her picture? Yes, a long time ago in school. She was once so beautiful. How did she get the scar on her face? She fell out of my father's car. It was an accident out of her own stubbornness. She couldn't wait for the car to stop. The car to stop? Where? To stop at the gate. Look, this happened a long time ago, okay? And it's not necessary anymore. Just keep your eyes on the job, please. That's okay. I'll see you around.
Fifty million. That's one mistake. What I say. Oh, send it me. Okay. Hello, baby. Hi. I'm sorry, I had to come suddenly without letting you know. Oh, what happened? I just wanted to give you this. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. When did you, wait, how did you do this? Do you remember this picture? Way back then in school. I remember I pay you where? I had to pay threw my nose to the school for the graphics to let me have it. I look at it every day. Do you really admire what you see? Yes, I do. And I am not ashamed of every second of it. It taught me how to appreciate and respect feelings, emotions, and the truth about love. You make me feel special. You are special, Miriam. And that is why I love you. I love you. If there's another way. I'll start all over again. Start all over again. Yeah. There goes my honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, my honeymoon. I see my whole life as a honeymoon. There goes my honeymoon. How did you get this? My sister Chelsea gave me this car. Chelsea did this to you? How did it happen? I was in love with a man named Chidi. We were going to get married. I loved him so well. You don't my soul. Didn't Chelsea when I slept with him? He got her pregnant. Chelsea did this to you? For ten years. Ten years of surgery after another. Painful surgeries. The pains won't go. Nobody wanted me. They say I'm ugly. I call me Scarface. You are not a Scarface, Miriam. You are beautiful inside. My father, before he died, used to tell me that. Edward. You're my last shot at love. My only hope of chasing love, loneliness and feeling loved again. If you ever hurt me, Please don't hurt me, please. Don't hurt me. a boy anymore. I am tired of messing around. Not now that I have found love. Why can't we get married? Do you really want to marry me? 
Are you proposing for real? Miriam, I have seen all there is to be seen in life. And now it's left for me to face all that I have seen. But I don't want to face it alone. Yes, Miriam. I am proposing. Marry me. I'll make you very happy. I'll always be there for you. Trust me. What if my answer is yes? You just said yes, so. Oh, story of her sad life, how men keep away from her, and now you are bouncing back on me. I can't do this anymore. This game is over. What? Are you nuts? Do you have any idea how much is involved in all this? I don't care. I am ready to get into any shady business. But not when someone's life is involved. And since when did you start having a conscience? Ever since I realized such a nice and gentle person Miriam is and how you ruined her life out of your own selfish interest. But I will mend her wounds and heal her emotions. You fool. You slept with her and now you're intoxicated. She needs me, Chelsea. She needs a life. And I might be her last and only chance. Do I look like a fool to you, Edward? What do you take me for? You want to run away with the money and leave me behind. Isn't that right? It's not about money. Miriam is a nice person. She loves you. She wants you back. Oh, shut up and listen to me. You have no idea what I went through because of her. So you just shut up your mouth and keep your mind on the damn job. You have to quit now. Don't hurt your sister any further. And I said, stick to the original plan. Oh my God, I promise you, you will have me to face. Make peace with your sister. Or you might just be looking at your next brother-in-law. What? For real? And you can eat as much as you want. Come, let me find something. Ooh, how was your mother? My mommy always smoke and shout on me. It's okay. Let's go. Miriam, 
I need to talk to you. Is everything all right? You look a bit bothered. What is it? It's it's about your sister Chelsea. Always speak about Chelsea. Chelsea, this Chelsea that from day one. Chelsea, what are you doing with that night? Oh, so you haven't told her. Perhaps Edward here should tell you. What is it now? What have gotten to you? It's you, Miriam. You. Right from day one, since I was a child, Chelsea was no good because she was not like Miriam! Chelsea, put the knife down and all this will be solved. You'll get what you want. Both of you know each other. Chelsea, you don't have to do this. I care about your sister now. I love her. The game is over. But oh, go to hell! I want you, deny. I want you to keep your mind on the job where you wouldn't listen to me. Do I look like a fool to you? Do I? What did you call her? Madam Scarface. Ugly. Too fat. Those were your words, weren't they, Edward? Weren't they? What? What is going on here? Chelsea lobbied me to marry you. What? But I fell in love with you. Your life is so passionate and simple that my conscience pricked me. And I decided to quit the original plan and give you true moments of happiness. Till that do us part. No, not again. Exactly. Not again. Exactly. Exactly not again. I've suffered so much, Miriam. I've suffered so much. And it's time for somebody to pay for it. Starting with you, Edward. Starting with you! Chelsea, put the knife down. Mommy! No! 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 Chelsea! Oh, I forgive you, Nino! Chelsea! No. Chelsea! 